Let's send it over to our guy, John Hanson. He's making magic in the South Loop this morning. John, what do you got going on? Jordan, trust me, I'm not the one making magic. Scott Green is the one making magic today. You're a, you're, you're, you've been a magician for a long time, and one of your specialties is performing, I mean, for families, right? Yeah, I perform for audiences with kids and adults, and that's the, the, the real trick is stuff that's simple enough for the kids to follow and then amazing and funny and compelling enough for the adults to want to pay attention to the what's show. The, what's the difference between performing for kids and performing for adults? Adults are tougher. For adults, you need several things. You need a plot for a trick. For example, uh, a glass Coke bottle that grows bigger. Okay. You need props. You need your Coke bottle. And you need a bag, and then you need to have something to turn it into, Whoa. such as a larger Coke bottle. And then you need a method. A method is very important, a way to make it to prove to the audience that you've really done the trick. And one more thing you need, this is very important, everybody at home who wants to be a magician, you also need, you also need a rubber a windy day. plastic uh -oh. bottle that squeezes up in a bag, and it makes it look like the, the Coke bottle has disappeared. And I'll show you why. Okay. Because a real Coke bottle, a real glass Coke bottle, doesn't look anything like that. Oh, you, yeah, can tell makes... you can feel the difference, too. Yeah. You can hear the difference. Uh -huh. You can see the difference. So if I do the trick again, okay? Here, I'll do it one more time. And so you can exposed see. it for us first, and now you're going to do it again. Yeah, for kids. If I do it for kids, I don't need all that stuff. I can just take the glass Coke bottle, and I can say it changed into the big one, and they believe me. And if they don't believe me, I can just show them, look, it changed, and that's enough for them. They believe me. Right? There you go. There's a, there's a Coke bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and then incredible. if they don't believe me, I look and I say, it's gone. There's really the, the glass one's not in there anymore, and they believe me. Uh-huh. And if they still don't believe me, well, that's why adults are tougher than kids. For adults, you've got to prove that the glass Coke bottle has really disappeared. I'm standing right next. That is incredible. I was trying to figure out, like, I'm behind the scenes a little bit, see how maybe the trick was going to work. I have no idea. That's incredible. Yeah, it's uh, it's in my book. That was, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> let's talk about the book just really quickly. Excellence in Family Magic. What's it all about? Well, you've heard about the oldest trick in the book. Here, here you go. Here's a book full of them. This is a book for magicians uh, about how to do what I do, perform magic that, that appeals to children and adults at the same time, which oh. is really, really hard to do. But this is, uh, this is all about the theory and practice I've come up with uh, in what, seven years now as wow. a full-time professional magician. Since I got out of law school, actually. We're going to wow some after law school. That's yeah. right. We're going to wow some people at the bus stop here. It's a cool day out there. Back Let's send it over to our John Hansen, where he has a little hocus pocus going on. What's the magic word, John? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're having some fun out here with Scott Green. You're not sawing people in half, you said, yet. We can't find any volunteers for that, unfortunately. Well, uh, fortunately, we are out here in the city. Yes. And uh, I, I always like to pick something up when I, when I come downtown. Right. And uh, so would you just sign your name for me right here above where it says Chicago? Okay, hold on one second. I will sign my name above Chicago. There I am, J-O-N. Was that good enough? Perfect. And we'll, right. take, we'll take your postcard with your name on it. All right. And I'm just going to have you hold it right there against your chest. All right. And, you know, when I went to New York... Same thing. I always try to get a little souvenir, right. and I got a postcard in New York. Um, but I, I, I feel bad because I took something. Oh no! But not the postcard. That's not what I took. Here's oh, okay. what I took. Whoa! Take a look at that postcard. Yeah. Show everybody right there in the middle. Oh my God! There, uh, there it is. I brought it home. You brought the Statue of Liberty here. Yeah. That was incredible. We deserve a Statue of Liberty in Chicago. That is absolutely, I'm literally holding, I have no idea what just happened, but that was absolutely amazing. Scott, how do you come up with this stuff? Is it, is it through just years of research and putting things together, practicing, trying new things out? One of my latest favorite tricks that I came up with came to me in a dream. I'd been thinking about it all day. I, as, as an old prop, it's been around for a long time, and I was thinking about it, thinking about it, nothing. I'd fall asleep and... Boom, there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. You've got some, you're going to be on the lecture circuit talking soon. you got a new book out, which we talked about. And you're performing a Kids Fest in Joliet tomorrow. That's awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So bring the whole family by. What's the worst thing that's ever happened when you perform with a kid? <laughs> I mean, a little, some tears every now and then? Yeah, uh, tears. Sometimes I'll be doing a show at a school and, and suddenly you notice out of the corner of your eye, in comes the janitor with a, with a mop. And then after the show, I find out what exactly had to be cleaned up. Yeah, well, I, I imagine that would be uh, troublesome as well. Uh, look, I mean, I imagine magicians, I mean, the, the key to you guys obviously is persistence, persistence. There's a lot of magicians out there, but to be able to be the ones that are performing a lot, it takes a lot of hard work. Yeah, I, I work, uh, I've been getting ready with my book coming out and everything. I've been putting in uh, probably 15 hour days quite a bit this right. summer. Yeah. yeah, a lot of hard work. But that's what it takes. You want to succeed in any industry that, that's a lot of fun. I love my job, so it doesn't feel like work, but it takes a lot of fun work to, to get it done. So do I. That's amazing. So do Jordan and Felicia. You guys love your jobs, right? A lot of hard work, though. Back to you guys <laughs> in the studio. Scott, preach on this Friday morning. Have fun. All right, let's send it out to our John Hansen. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve this morning.
Yeah, Danielle, I don't have any tricks up my sleeve. It is Scott Green and nothing really up your sleeve, right? No, never. That's not ever how it's done. <laughs> All right, let's see a little card trick here. Go ahead, pick one for, for everybody. Please take All one. All right. Show everyone. Don't let me see it. All right, I can show them. All right, you're not looking. Got it. Okay, we got it. Say stop anytime you like. Oop. Uh, stop. Okay, put your card right there. Okay, right there. And now press right. the button. Button. Something Pressed amazing it. has happened. Right. All right. Your card. One card reveals itself. Do you see one that's a little different? Yeah, I see one that's way different. Yeah, one that's way different. That is okay. this uh, this green one here. What card did you pick? I picked the three of. You want me to say it? Oh my God! Right. It's the three of spades. Look, I'll put it over here. We'll do one more time. Okay, one more time. Say stop. Okay. Stop anytime. Stop. Okay. There you go. New card. Yeah. Card number two. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Press the button. All right. Boom. And one card. One card is green. One card is green. Do you see the green card? Not yet. You don't see the green card? No green card. Did, green card? did I miss the green card? Oh, there's what the green card. card. What was your new card? Oh my goodness. I am blown away. Scott Green, you're going to be performing tomorrow at Kids Fest in Joliet. Back to the studio.